it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and if you'll notice I filmed two videos today so you'll notice one has already gone up in the same outfit and stuff but I wanted to film this video because I am super excited I have indoor plants now and it's something that I never thought would be like something I would do or something I would be interested in, but I've always really liked plants and flowers and things. I just have a black thumb. If you guys are OG Sammy Sweet Life, I think even before I changed my name to Sammy Sweet Life, I ended up repotting my succulents that I have and they are these little like almost cactus looking succulents. I don't even know what variety or species they are, but I ended up getting them in the fifth grade and I have kept them all of these years. So these plants are like, these plants are ancient guys. <laughs> they have been around for a long time. For some strange reason, I was able to keep this plant alive. I've had it since the fifth grade. I've replanted it. It's propagated tons and tons of times. I've given pieces to other people and this plant has just stuck with me. And a part of the reason is I can forget to water it for a really long time and it totally is fine. If you overwater it, it will die. So it's actually good that I forget to water it. And I've had other plants. None of them have ever survived. I don't know why, but I kill plants. I have a black thumb. I can't keep a garden growing. I just really like I had it in my head. I wanted an indoor palm tree and I have a specific variety that I want. I want a flamethrower palm tree. And I have it in my head that I need this palm tree. So I ended up getting a different palm tree. I've shown it in vlogs and various videos, but I've had this indoor palm tree and I've kept it alive for quite a while. It's not doing so great now, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I thought if I can keep this one alive for like six months or a year, I'm totally getting that flamethrower palm tree. It's something I'm gonna have to special order. They are expensive because they're just like a, you know, a fancy variety of palm tree, but they are good for growing indoors. So I'm super excited about it. And then I just got this wild hair like, yeah, I can keep this palm tree alive. Let's try some other indoor plants. And here we are. I got quite a few at Trader Joe's. I picked up more at Home Depot and I've just gone plant nuts now. And a lot of them are snake plants like this guy. He's a snake plant. They don't need a whole lot of watering or maintenance or care. And they just need some nice indirect light and they're happy. So when I was researching what plants to get, I was always checking those lists of like easy to grow plants because I don't need anything high maintenance. I ended up getting one orchid, which I'll talk about here in a minute, but I needed like the top 10 most easy plants. I ended up going down the list and picking some of those. So I have this, I have a ponytail palm up there. I have a monstera. I have one, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but I think it's called a calathea, but just basically a lot of snake plants. I have one umbrella tree, which is super duper cute. Basically the main theme is you water them like once a week. You don't even have to water them once a week sometimes. And they stay okay and they just need light to keep them happy and so far so good. I've had them for quite a while. I just ended up having to rearrange and do a couple of things because the palm tree wasn't doing so well. I ended up getting all of the plants. I thought everything was good. And then the palm tree started getting little flies. And every once in a while, one of the bedroom plants would have little flies in it. And it was so weird. I thought they were like fruit flies and they fly around and they kind of zigzag and they don't go very far so it's easy to like smush them and get rid of them and then more will appear. So I was just having this trouble every once in a while. I was like, I don't know how these fruit flies are getting in here. I don't know why. I ended up looking it up and they are called fungus gnats. So I was watering them too much and I wasn't being very careful with how I was watering. I was just watering the whole top surface and I did notice that there was, it just looks like fuzzy stuff on the top surface of the soil. So I'm totally, totally doing it wrong. This was totally user error. And that was the fungus that the fungus gnats live off of. So I was having this problem every once in a while. I got a little spray to spray the plants and all was well. And then all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, I don't know how this happened, I don't know where they came from, but all of a sudden the palm tree was like fuzzy all over the top surface of his soil. And then I found like a billion flies. It was so disgusting, guys. I found just a bunch of these little flies dead in the windowsill right next to where the plant is. And I was like, holy crap, I, it was just like one day because it was the day after cleaning day. So I know that like the surface was clear. We didn't have a problem. So I spent a lot of time cleaning up everything, spraying the plant. And then the next day, there were tons of them again, like dead in this windowsill. And you can see a few of them flying around the palm tree. Like if you tap the palm tree, a few of them fly up and it was just so gross. I'm like, I live in a really nice house, a really nice neighborhood, and we're infested with bugs. And I was like really freaking out and grossed out by this. I did end up researching like what to do, what's the best way to water them. And I kept coming across neem oil. And I also kept coming across putting gravel 
or marbles or some sort of thing over the top surface so the top surface doesn't grow fungus. So that way there's nothing for the fungus gnats to get at because you're one, you're using the neem oil and it's a microbial antifungal type of thing and it's totally safe, like safe around the kids, it's not a big deal. And you just put it in as you're watering, you spray them with the neem oil and you make sure that the soil does not get fungus. And that was my main thing, like I was seeing the like the stuff on the surface. I just didn't think anything of it at the time. I didn't realize I was feeding these fungus gnats. And so I ended up repotting everybody. I had all of them like out in the front. I was in the driveway repotting everybody. I got rid of all of their old soil, got totally new indoor plant soil, and then I put rocks in everybody. You can see everybody has the white, pretty granite rocks on top. And so far, so good. It hasn't been that long, but that's gonna help keep the surface Fine. and I ended up putting the palm tree and one other plant near the palm tree had gotten infested with the fungus gnats. I stuck them in the garage and they were like quarantining in the garage until I ended up getting the stuff to repot everything. And so everybody's repotted. Everybody seems to be happy with their little rocks in there and they all look good. I ended up watering two times since then. So, so far, no fungus gnats. I'm really glad about that. And I do spray them with neem oil. And the spray I had gotten before was, um like a pest control thing, but it said don't spray directly on the plants. Well, I ended up accidentally spraying the one on my side of the bedroom and he didn't make it. He was starting to die and I ended up replacing him and that's why I have another one up here. I ended up getting four little propagated snake plants out of the one pot that I bought. I thought there were two in there and it turned out there were four. So I was able to repot them and pull in some more house plants. So now I have even more snake plants and I just love them. I love the way they look. They all have a different way that they grow and a different like color variation to them. I like this one has like yellow down the sides and I just think it's really, really beautiful. You can see like right there, all the little yellow variegation and I just love them. I have so much fun like watering my little plant babies now and taking care of them. And it's just something that makes my house look so cozy even though we don't have any artwork up, the house isn't done. Basically all I have to decorate the house is snake plants. <laughs> But I just want to walk you through each one, where they are, what they are, and talk about them for just a minute because I've been really, first of all, proud of myself that I have kept them all going except the one snake plant which I did unfortunately kill. And so before we walk through and I'll show you everybody and where they are in the house, I ended up killing our orchid too. Technically speaking, like a lot of people will buy orchids, keep them while they're blooming, and then discard them. Well, I was really trying to keep him going. I knew that it would only bloom like once a year to like once every 18 months, but I was gonna like try to keep him alive and he was just not happy. He was dying. I forgot to water him like one week and it was all over. So I had talked to one of my friends about it because she has orchids around her house. And I was like, do you wait for them to rebloom? And she's like, heck no, I just get new ones. So um, unfortunately, that's the cold hard truth. I'm going to be replacing my orchid plant and then keeping him for like the 12 weeks when he's blooming and then getting a new one probably because I really liked how he looked on the counter in the kitchen. But unfortunately, he stopped blooming and then he did not make it. So I feel like that's way above my skill set at this point. So maybe one day I'll try to like rehab the orchid to get it to grow again. But I think it's kind of hard. I think it's a difficult thing to do. So I'm not ready yet for that, but I can keep my plant babies alive. Aside from all the neem oil and rock on the surface tips, my other tip is set a schedule on your phone. I have a reminder that goes off every Friday that I have to water my plants so that I remember to give them water because uh, the one plant that sits on the counter in the kitchen, he's just on the island, is my plant from fifth grade. And I don't water him for like seemingly months. And that plant doesn't seem to mind. I keep calling them all he and she, but <laughs> I just love my little plant baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through the house plant tour. And I hope you guys like this look at all my little house plants. <laughs> Okay, so first up, I'm gonna give you a closer look of my little plant babies in here. I have the snake plant that I was just holding in the picture. And then this is the newer snake plant. We have this pot left over from, I don't know what, but I don't really like it because it does have holes in the bottom. So liquid will come out if I overwater it. So I have to be really careful with pots like this. That is the newer snake plant. And I do have a, quite a few of these ones. And I thought they just looked so striking with the dark green lines. So that one's super cute. And then here is my ponytail palm, which is super cute. I have a thing for palm trees. I just love them so much. And I just love the way he's like curly looking. I just really, really like that one a lot. I've always had a special place in my heart for palm trees. And if you guys watched vlogs way back in the day before the house fire house, like we were building that house, Johnny had purchased this for me and he knew I wanted to get a palm tree whenever we built our house and moved to wherever we were gonna move. 
and he bought this. He said it was our first palm tree. So I'm, you know, I just have a soft spot for palm trees. I want my flamethrower palm. I was probably going to plant a palm tree at some point, like in the yard, but this is my first palm tree and it just has a little sentimental value to me. And then I have the big palm tree, which is a majesty palm. He's the one that had the fungus gnats. And now we have ponytail palm as well. And then I have this plant. This is the one from fifth grade. I'm getting a lot of reflection, but you guys can see he's got like shells and marbles and stuff. There's a little turtle in here, just like a souvenir, but he has grown bigger and bigger. That's a leaf, like Livy put that in there, but he's grown just bigger and bigger. And I just love, love, love him. And I've propagated a few of them in this little pot here. And I've given lots away. He's just such a big, fun plant. And you can see he's growing wild. There's tons of them in here. You can see, I don't, I don't, don't even have a count right now. Like there's a new one there. There's a couple of new ones sprouting off on this side. It's just, it's wild in there. I just love it. I think it's really, really pretty. And then we always just keep a candle here. And I got this cutting board from a local artist. We went to an Oktoberfest thing and they had little artist stalls, different things. We got a uh, really, really awesome hot sauce from somebody. And then also I got this board and it's just beautiful. I just love it. I had my orchid sitting out right here too, because I'll show you guys, I ended up leaving watermarks. I had the orchid and his little pot sitting here and didn't realize like the pot would um, seep through. So I ended up putting him on his own plate. And now he's here, I will get another orchid for the counter too. And I just really like the way it is just set up here. That's like the only really decorated thing I have in the house. <laughs> and you guys can see hashtag real life Stella is like obsessed with reading. So we've read all the books. I just put her down for a quiet time. And that is my majesty palm. So he's really, really pretty. I love him. He's not doing the greatest because of all the bug issues. They will like eat at the roots if you get like a bad infestation and he had a really bad one. So I'm going to nurse him back to health. He's got a few browning leaves and things. So he's got a ways to go. And then this is one of the orchid leaves that the girls just like are obsessed with. They don't want to throw it out yet. So it just um, is sitting up there and I did put lots of rocks in here. So hopefully we will not have the same problem. I don't know how they got in the house originally. I don't know if they were in the soil because I did end up pulling out some old potting soil for the other plants when I first got some of them. So I don't know if they were just like dormant in the potting soil, but there's what he looks like. I end up rotating him a little bit here and there. And he's got his new fronds coming up. He's had like, I don't know, three or four new ones since we've gotten him. And I just really love the way he looks. And then moving over here on the mantle, we've got two little guys and then the Monstera is down there. I need to dust that. <laughs> I can tell it's really dusty. So here's one of the snake plants. I had one very similar to this that was on my nightstand. So he's really pretty. He has been growing this leaf. This is a new one that he's sprouting out, which I really like. And then over here is the umbrella tree or money tree. And this one people said will get huge depending on like how much you water it and how much you plant it. And it's already grown really big. It's like twice the size of what it was when we first got it. It was in a teeny tiny little like two inch pot and he looks great now. And then one of my absolute favorite ones is the Monstera. I just love the way it is growing. He's gotten a new, a couple of new leaves, but this one's starting to come out. And I love how like twisty it looks. You can see it's wound around each other. I love, love, love the way the leaves look on these. And I just, I just absolutely love this one. I think it just is a really pretty thing right here. We're working on getting built-ins. Like right now we have kids stuff everywhere, but I think it'll look really pretty, especially when we have the built-ins and it'll look like it belongs in this little nook. And it'll just get bigger and bigger too. It's already gotten quite a bit bigger since we've had it, but he was in a, a pretty nice size pot, but eventually he's gonna have to have a bigger pot. I love the way that one looks. It kind of reminds me of a palm tree. All right, up here I have the Calathea, and I just loved this one. I love the stripes on his leaves, but I also love the red on the underside. I think it's so beautiful. It's actually leaning towards the light because we have the big windows right there. It gets a lot of sunlight that direction, so I end up rotating this one around. But he's grown lots of new leaves. You can see he's growing more, and they like curl, twist up, and they're really pretty when they first come out. They're really bright red. I don't think I see any right now, but he's just a beautiful, beautiful plant. Next to it, I ended up putting another snake plant. I need to get a different pot for this. This was just like a, a junky pot we had in the garage. So right now he's in a temporary pot, but this is two of the four new ones. The other new one is in my bedroom. 
I really, really like the way those ones look. They're super tall and skinny and very colorful. And there they are next to each other. They're just up here in the loft that's the playroom. And the two plants I have in here, Stella always goes in my nightstand. <laughs> the two plants I have in here are also uh, snake plants. So this is the biggest one out of that potted one I just received. My snake plant before died. It looked like the one on the mantle. And then he also has another little piece coming up for possibly another one. This was actually in the soil a little bit, and so it's further out than I think it should probably be. So I don't know if it's going to do very well like this. But the big main one is awesome. I like the height of it on my nightstand there. And then on Johnny's side over here, he has another one of those ones I think that I had gotten from Trader Joe's. And this leaf is completely new. It's grown in. And I really like the way it looks. I got matching pots for both of our nightstands. I really like the gray and white combo here. I just really like the way that they look with the little lighter colors on the edges of these guys. They're really, really pretty. You can see like hand size. He's a smaller snake plant. And that is it for this video. I just wanted to walk you through the house plants. I've mentioned them in quite a few videos and I wanted to sit down and tell you about all of them and how proud I am that I kept them living. <laughs> This is a big feat for somebody with a black thumb like me. So if you're like me and houseplants are difficult for you, definitely check out Monstera, Snake Plant, Ponytail Palm. I would definitely recommend any of the ones that I've gotten. I would steer clear of orchid unless you just want it to bloom and then get rid of it. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring in some way. I am just so shocked that I've been able to keep most of them alive. I did end up killing off the one snake plant just because of the spray I was using to try to treat those fungus gnats, but so far so good with everybody else and the neem oil has been working. I just have a squirt bottle, one drop of Dawn dish soap, and then a couple of drops of neem oil and you do have to shake it to emulsify everything together. The soap helps to break up the neem oil and get it to bond with the water a little bit more since neem oil is an oil and you're putting it in a thing of water. You do have to shake it up, spray around the soil, and then shake it up when you're getting to the next plant so you can get some new oil in there but it's been working since i've had that i haven't had any problems with my plants and then redoing the pots as well getting rid of the old soil that was not working and putting in the rocks i've had no problems so far so knock on wood knock it on wood that everything is okay with my little plants now i'm trying to nurse that palm tree back to health he's just a tiny bit on the struggle bus but other than that i feel like I've done a good job. Like I get a solid like B or B plus effort for keeping the plants going. So I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.